Good morning and welcome to worship at Pleasantville Presbyterian Church. We're glad that you've joined us today on this fourth Sunday of Advent. The people who walked in the darkness have seen a great light. Rejoice, for Christ's presence lives among us and brings light to our world. Please join me in the prayer of confession. Gracious God, we hear you calling. You have shown us hope and you offer us courage. We come to you as people who long to walk your pathways of grace and love. But many times, God, we get discouraged by our living. We are afraid of the difficult experiences. We despair at challenges that are given to us. The roads we walk find us weary sometimes, and we let hopelessness get the best of us. Carry us on our journey, O oh God. Help us to know that your love is always there, sustaining us and surrounding us with care. Amen. Friends, hear the good news. As far as the East is from the West, so far has God removed our transgressions from us. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is God's love for us. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Amen. Let us greet one another with the peace of Christ. Peace to everybody. May the peace be with you. May the peace be with you. 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 Peace be with you, everyone. Peace be with you. This morning, our children and youth will tell the Christmas story through words, through actions, and through music. Come let us worship our living God.
Today's introduction is based on the prophecy of Isaiah that a shoe will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and power. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears. But with righteousness, he will judge the needy. With justice, he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. With, his breath of the, uh, with the breath of his lips, he will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be his belt, and faithfulness will be the sash around his waist. We are excited to show you his advent story. Please join us in saying, In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin flesh to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David, the virgin's name was Mary. The angels went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at these words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. Oh, 
child, they saw the child with their mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. They presented him with gifts of gold and incense and myrrh, and have been warned in a dream not to go back to her to her own. They returned to their country by another route. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the way Christmas makes us remember your love for us, the ways that you were willing to come into the world to be with us, to show us your way. Help us to be instruments of peace and joy and hope and love in all that we are, in all that we do. We pray this day for all those who are ill or in pain, that they might experience your healing touch. We pray for those who are troubled or lonely. We pray for those struggling with addiction. We pray for new ways forward. Open us, help us to see. Let us be your love in action in the world. We pray this day too for all those who are living in the midst of violence and war. At this difficult time, particularly we think about them. And we pray that there might be a way forward that looks different than where we are now. We pray for those who are hungry and those who are cold. We ask that we might find more and more ways to be your hands and feet in this world. Now let us pray together as Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. go forward from this place, certain in our knowledge of the love of God, the peace of Christ Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>